and so far if you remember we have been learning javascript and in the previous video we started a new topic called dom which is document object model and we learned what is dom how it is used and as is on the previous lesson we were able to use javascript to select html elements and change its properties like changing its color all right now i showed you one way of doing this using a method called query selector right but there is like actually number of ways of selecting elements inside the dom all right now before uh, moving forward let me tell you uh in the previous code i did some changes well there was hello world i have added an id here then i have added a button of class btn then i've added a an ordered list with id list and li of class of items 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 okay great now this is our website okay now uh one thing i would like you like to go to uh developer tools okay and over here i want you to try things okay one way to select any element uh using javascript is you have to write document okay what happened sorry here yeah. document dot uh let's say you have to select element by a tag so you will say get element by tag name okay and here you can write the tag name hmm what can be the tag name here let's say you want to select elements with the tag name of li so simply you are going to put li over here and you can see that it is saying elements not element okay so on like our query selector it would return as a array like this then inside that every item has different 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 properties which you can tap in and change okay great now so you cannot um like what we did in the previous video you cannot change the color okay sorry some spelling error document dot let's say get element by get elements by tag name li dot style let's try and change the color to green okay let's see what would happen there's an error cannot set properties okay the error is very vague but let me tell you what the error is so document dot get element by tag name li basically selects this whole array okay of three items which is our google second and third okay this is a link uh now obviously you cannot change the color of an array so what to do in this case let me just copy this whole thing i'll just paste it and here like array you can tap in any element of array using a square bracket let's you want to change the color of third so we'll just say and yeah you can see it has turned to green okay now i hope you remember how arrays work and how to tap in elements of an array if you don't i have made a video over arrays where i have taught in in detail so you may check out that link okay great now this was all we had to talk about tag names okay now what we can do what we can do what we can do is we can just refresh the page get it fresh now there is another uh, thing called class name uh, get elements by class name so what you can do you can simply go document dot get elements by class name and here you can give it any class let a uh, button of class btn uh, btn okay great it has returned me 
uh, again see it is elements so again it would return me what an array right so again uh, if you want you cannot simply do what uh, dot style dot color is equal to let's say blue it cannot do that because again it is what a uh, single element i mean an array so to tap in the element you can simply do this and see it has turned to blue okay great that is what i was talking about and that is how it works okay now you can do one thing if i just copy this you can see other properties of arrays like you can simply write okay dot let's say length one because single element okay so you can see this document this selects the items with the class name buttons and gives you you a list and then um, like array list that you know how to change it i mean how to work with it you can you know find its length find any particular element do something over it etc okay that is up to you all right great that is what i wanted to talk to you about uh, in this um uh, elements by class name okay great again i'll refresh it and there is another method that can be used to select a single element okay uh, i think i gave you a lot about it so rather than doing it let's see again you will say a uh, document dot get then the key ones might have noticed that here it is only an element not elements again it is very obvious because on a single web page there has to be unique id so obviously it would return me only a single element if i check it is id is uh, title let's see if i write okay what the hell happened sorry let me just refresh it so we can start from fresh yeah see it has written me a single element with h1 id title now i can change it in a i mean text by saying in a html to let's say good bye see it has changed so that is how lm get element by id works okay now another method that can be used to select a single element is the query selector method that we have used in the previous lesson as well now this method is you know similar to get element by id and it returns a single element but it works a little bit differently because okay give me one second let me type it out so like it would be easy for you as well to see document ah uh, document dot query selector okay yeah okay 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 great 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 okay now whatever the text i want to write inside it the string that you are going to put inside it parenthesis is a selector now what is a selector we have been using selector for all this while id is a selector class is a selector this tag element is a selector remember whichever we um use in css that is a selector so suppose if it is an id so for that you have to use hash uh let's say id was let's say title let's say title see it has written me this okay great now in the similar way if i want to tag in let's say uh, query selector if i want to tap in on any 
class i will use dot uh, dot would be with the uh, button b t n see it has selected it and yeah it has written with this okay great that is and if you want to have a simple let's say this checkbox you can simply say query selector if it is a simple tag you don't have to put anything inside it you can simply go with input if i remember correctly see it has checked in that box okay great that is how query selector works okay so i hope this was an informative video for you you know how to select elements in uh, html using javascript we learned like this is all called dom manipulation basically what you are doing you are using javascript to tap into any element of html using query selector or you know get element by id get elements by class etc and then you can change them you can manipulate them i can manipulate on changing the text which i did i can manipulate on clicking this button etc okay so that was it i guess for this video and a lot more is coming up a lot more interesting is gonna come up so stay tuned and if you have any doubt you may ask it in the comment section so thank you for watching and see you later